Assalamu alaikum. I am Dua Shabir with my group mate Israr Bab, and we are here uh, to presenting our compiler project. And this is compiler made by us in C sharp language, which is compiling the Pascal language. So this is output. This is output of our. This is interface of our uh, compiler. Here it is. This is a code given by us in Pascal language and this is cons console and this is error log and i am running it to show the show you the output here we have given a code in some code in pascal language which we will compile here so first understanding the code uh, the code the program name is hello name is hello world and here we are declaring two variables named x and y which are of integer type now there is a procedure named squared uh, and this is uh, starting starting of the procedure this is doing uh, this is squaring the x value and this is ending of the procedure so here is again begin uh, begin beginning of another block of code where we are assigning four value to x variable and there is if condition and if else condition uh, the condition of if is uh, if x is less than five then x is equal to five uh, five else x is equal to six so here a uh, value of x is less than four obviously uh, less than five obviously because uh, x value is four so it will assign five to the x and output will be, uh, and we are printing here the x value, and out it is output should be x is equal to five. So I am compiling this code, and it will show so that I can show the output. So here it is uh, compiling this if else condition and showing the output very fine. If the value of uh, x is equal to five. Now we have assigned the seven to the x variable and here our switch cases are defined. So first case is if five, so give x value to y variable and if uh, case is six, so give six to y variable. Uh, if x uh, value is seven, so give y x plus eight, uh, assign x plus eight, assigned to y so what is the x value x value is 7 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 so we are printing y value here and x plus 8 uh, sorry 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 so it is showing 15 as our output now we have assigned 1 to y variable and this is our while loop do while loop this is our do while loop uh, it will it will run until y value is less than four and what it will do it will add one to y value and assign it to y uh, when this loop will end uh, we are printing the y value and y value uh, should be four and here it is printing the correct output now here it is a beginning of for loop which will run 10 times, one to 10 times. And what it will do, it will add one to X variable and assign it to X. After ending of for loop, we are printing our X value and which should be seven. So here it is showing us seven as a output. Now we have assigned two to, uh, to the X variable. And this is our while loop which will run which will uh, run until x is uh, greater than 10 and what it will do it will also add 1 to x value and assign it to x so our x value was 2 and now after the loop we have printing the uh, x value which is equal to 11 after that we have called the method which we have declared before which we have uh, created with uh, for squaring the x so now the x value is 11 
x value was last x value was 11 and this is squaring the x value and which is showing we are printing here the x value which is 121 so yes uh, code is perfect uh, compiling and showing output perfectly fine if uh, now you can see that i uh, it will also show the errors with line number and error type so uh, for example i am given giving here bracket or i am giving here equal sign and i'm compiling which is which makes no sense they, here equal signs make no sense but i'm compiling so it will show error on line number 55 it is storing the line number also by look ahead variable which we have using in our code and error matching this is the type of error that uh, token doesn't matching with the variable or some tokens which are in symbol table so, so error uh, error type is token doesn't match here syntax error is also working uh, just like pascal language is procedural language and it doesn't support parentheses but if i am giving here parentheses instead of begin and end so now i am compiling it will show the error so it uh, it is showing the error error type and line number also so yes, this was our code. Now, uh, further code uh, overview of code will be given to you by Strava. Chalo, Israb, tum share karo. Bad karo na tum. Okay, so let's start with the code part of our project. So starting from the class um, token, this is the class called token and uh, we have created these objects from the class type token category, token uh, type definition, and the string type value. Here it is the constructor of token class, which is assigning it the values uh, of these objects that we created initially. So, and this is the method which is just showing us the value. Here it is the clone method which is depicting all these values. This is the uh, token type definition class in which we are assigning token numbers to all these, um, you may say, uh, keywords, which are variable, array, break, case, continue, and so on and so forth. In this token value, the token type value class, we are creating an object class value. Object class is a um, class type in C sharp, which we can use for storing any type of uh, like value, which is not actually defined by us initially. This is data type definition class uh, variable data type, and this is a Boolean type variable is address. This is also a constructor of this class type, which is assigning it the values that we have created the objects. This is the variable type class, which is uh, creating these variables, which will be further used in our code for comparing and assigning values as the tokens. This is a stack pointer class. <clears throat> in this class, we have created three type of variables, each for um, one for is integer class type, another for float, and the third one is for Boolean. These are going to be used in our code further. <clears throat> These are the operation type definitions um, class and these are the values which we have assigned to these operations. We are going to use them in our code further. Also the flag type definition class. All these values will be used in the code for comparing. This is in data type definition class which is assigning the values to uh, false, true, type, character, type, integer, all these types. 
this is character type definition either it's null digit to differentiate all these um, character types this is uh, the class which we have made for the symbol uh, table it's called symbol base in which we have created an object of a string type called name token type definition type token and integer type address and a hash table in the symbol procedure class we have inherited from the symbol base class and here we are making the um, you see a boolean type object and a list and in this class, we have also inherited from the symbol based class where we are declaring a object called data type definition and a integer uh, object and also a flag type uh, definition class object as well. This is our uh, semantic analyzer class where we will uh, check the semantic of our code either it is integer and also defined as the in number and also if it's in string and also it is given as the uh, uh, argument the string type here it is the variable declaration method it is checking using the scanner class here it is the scanner class we will further discuss about it using this scanner class it is checking the current token and the token type definition that the class we um, earlier uh, saw is comparing it with this token of the variable and e either it has any error or not and then it will match it using this dot match method that we have declared in the scanner class so after checking it it will create another you say list and add these tokens to this symbol variable that is also a list also we are going to see that we are going to use it for colon for comma token type comma token type id token type void and after that we are going to use this switch case method for checking the token type either it's integer float character and the value assigned to it is also type of character and these two token and type of uh, the character should match because it is checking its semantic also it is going to work for the procedure checking similarly earlier we saw it was checking for the variable now it is going to check for the uh, procedure similarly it will again create a list and compare its tokens and its type <clears throat> here we have a token category class that we used in this a semantic analyzer as well which is in uh, generating enumeration <clears throat> either it is token is identifier digit keyword literal or symbol in the syntax class we are creating this is symbol is number is literal kind of methods which will um, be used for checking and matching the types and um, types of these uh, tokens either it is a symbol or a number or literal for in the scanner class it is the scanner class is used for error generation with the um, help of look ahead it is using all these um, you see um, classes variables that we saw earlier it is creating the object it is creating a method called a scanner it is assigning these uh, values to it current line is one character is zero because we are going to print the line number in our uh, error generation code and also the character current character error log it is going to generate a list of errors depending upon the number of um, errors this is the method which is used for white space this method is used for next character scan as i told you earlier it's checking for the symbols this is the method also used created in this class after that it's checking for the number it is checking for the later all these things white um, eat while all these things which is the look ahead method and this is the next character method and in the end, we are generating the errors. 
after creating we are going to see if the character is starting with e is else or enum or extend if it's not uh, matching with anyone we are going to generate errors that we have defined over here it is all the types of errors that will match in the cases this is procedure argument class which is also used in further our code compilation uh, execution it also inherit the base message class and all these are used in our parser code parser code is using all these classes that we have discussed already and parsing the numbers um, variables arguments and procedures and statements these all are the codes tokens are um, compared as semantics is analyzed and all the work is done over here you may see and this was all about it from my side. Thank you very much.